بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحبت في الله I wanted to remind myself and my brothers and sisters in Islam uh, of the importance of Toba to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as well as not being too harsh upon oneself that doesn't mean we, we go to either extreme that we are so uh, overjoyed with ourselves and thinking that we did good deeds and praising ourselves no that is not an Islamic uh, behavior but likewise you don't want to be so hard on yourself about everything you do that you consider yourself a hypocrite or you uh, are never sure of yourself or you are always fickle you're, you're quick changing about things but rather you have to have some you have to trust in your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala realize that we are frail and we make mistakes and have trust in yourself trust in yourself that you make mistakes but don't destroy yourself and belittle yourself and think that you're a disbeliever think that you're a hypocrite no the fact that you want to better yourself and you do strive to better yourself is evidence of your iman and our iman fluctuates and this is from the aqidah of Allah sunnah that our iman is sometimes high and sometimes it's low and sometimes we want to command the good and forbid the evil and that's in accordance with our iman in accordance with the appropriateness of the situation and that is also evidence that our iman fluctuates because the Prophet ﷺ said in the hadith of uh, Ibn Mas'ud radiallahu ta'ala anhu who said سَمِعْتُ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَمَ يَقُولُ مَنْ رَأَى مِنْكُمْ مُنْكَرًا فَلِي غَيْرُهُ بِيَدْ فَإِنْ لَمْ يَسْتَطِعْ فَبِلِسَانِهِ فَإِنْ لَمْ يَسْتَطِعْ فَبِقَلْبِهِ وَذَلِكَ عَلَوْهُ لِمَانِ رواه مسلم in the hadith in Sahih Muslim he said that the, he heard the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam say that whoever sees a good from amongst you uh, whoever sees an evil from amongst you then change it with his hands and if he's unable to do so then change it with his tongue speak out against it and if he's unable to do so change it with his heart and that's the weakness of faith the point of mentioning that Ahabatifillah is that it shows us that our Iman is on different levels that it is in the heart that it is on the hand on the limbs and that it is also on the tongue in our statements and that there's a wisdom in the way we command the good and forbid the evil so going back to the main point that I wanted to mention was a hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam where he said Kulu ibn Adam khayran khatayin tawabun, that all the children of Adam make mistakes and the best of those who make mistakes or sins is those who make who repent so even if you fall into innovation even if you fall into shirk even if you fall into whatever sin it may be you committed adultery you drank wine you lied you oppressed someone you can still come back to a law it's not too late and so we have to remember the Prophet said uh, the best of those people who sin is those who repent letting us know all of us sin but the best of us as sinners is those who repent so the best of who of, of the children of Adam is those who come back to Allah so meaning that our Iman is sometimes high and sometimes low and we will fall but get back up and come back to Allah make Tawbah come close make Istighfar and keep striving and then you may fall again but get up again and keep striving so you have to and this takes being positive because some people they fall and then they get further and further away from Allah they begin maybe they began by listening music next thing you know they're back uh, they're watching things they shouldn't watch and then next thing you know it gets into pornography next thing you know they're committing adultery next thing you know they feel they have so many sins that they can't come back to Allah so they stop praying and it just cycles down so in order to deal with that is yes you're going to feel sorrow, sorrow sorrow and you should feel sorrow for those wicked sins 
but it's making a step far. And realizing that you can come back. And that's what we want to encourage our, our, our brothers and sisters, and I want to encourage you with, to keep coming back to Allah. Keep coming back. Don't keep making the same mistakes, but if you do, keep coming back to Allah. The door is open with Allah. Maybe the people won't accept you. Maybe the people will speak about you and say, you fell into this bid'ah, you're from Ahl bid'ah, you're this, but you can come back to Allah. So don't get away from Him. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah Azza wa Jal. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the Shaitan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Nabiya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.